Welcome back to the channel guys, for today's video, I'd like to go over something regarding the Sly Cooper movie. No, I'm not gonna go over news and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go over something very specific. It has to do with Sly's voice actor in the movie. When the trailer for the movie came out in 2014, a lot of fans quickly realized that Sly's voice actor was not Kevin Miller. Now when it comes to people who are not familiar with the series, okay, no problem. But some fans were very upset and some took it the wrong way. Some thought that he turned down the opportunity. That's not what happened. Let's just say it's a way of running a business. Having a character, especially a main character, voiced by someone who's very well known, then perhaps the movie might capture a lot more attention. I mean, that's what studios are trying to aim for. Okay, there's the Ratchet and Clank movie with famous voice actors. Let's not talk about that right now. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the second funniest podcast. In 2008, comedian Justin Worsham and Kevin Miller started this podcast. It lasted until 2015. I don't know what happened. Are they gonna continue the series? Who knows? But really, if you're bored and have a lot of time in your hands, listening to these podcasts is pretty fun. Sanzaro's Matt Kramer was featured at one point. Plus, we had Bentley and Murray's voice actors, Chris Murphy and Matt Olson at one point. I still haven't listened to those podcasts, but I plan on doing so. Oh, and about Matt Kramer. I actually made a video discussing about the podcast, and it had to do with Sly Cooper Thieves and Ton. If you guys haven't seen that video, why not check it out? Anyways, my point is, in 2014, the second funniest podcast had Kevin Miller and comedian Justin Warsham discussing about the whole current situation. Sly not being voiced by the voice actor we know and love. Now, am I upset or mad that Kevin Miller is not voicing Sly? No, not at all. And the same goes for Kevin Miller. He's not upset, he's not mad, but he would have been honored to voice Sly in a movie. Now, before I get into anything, guys, nothing's official. The voice actors can change. I mean, Chris Murphy and Matt Olsen still don't know what's going on. So nothing's final, keep that in mind. I know this is two years ago, we're talking about 2014, but according to the podcast, Kevin Miller received a phone call a week before the trailer got uploaded. During the phone call, Sony explained that they were recasting. For sure, Kevin Miller wondered, why am I not voicing Sly in the movie? I mean, it would have been awesome. I would have been honored. But then, at the same time, he understood why they decided to do so. Making a movie is a business. In order to expand a business, you need to capture a lot of attention. You need new people. And what better way to do that than casting someone who's very well known? So that's why they decided to go with Ian James Corlett. The guy's done a lot of voice acting, you can check it out. Now honestly, I would have loved Sly to be voiced by Kevin Miller. But having Ian James Corlett voice Sly, I don't mind. That's not gonna make me hate the movie. But like I said before, this can easily change. Nothing's final. And I know, Bentley and Murray are voiced by their original voice actors. Sly not being voiced by Kevin Miller is just weird. I mean, he voiced the character in every single game. Like I said before, am I upset? Am I mad? No, not at all. I just want the movie to gain success. I mean, that's what we all want in the end, right? Anyways, during the podcast, Kevin Miller made this pretty cool metaphor. He described the Sly Cooper series as a fish in a pond. Or was it a lake? <laughs> but anyways, the Sly Cooper series being a fish lived happy with a little community. That little community is the fan base. To be honest, the Sly Cooper series is kinda underrated. Sly Sly is still considered an iconic Sony character, but compared to other games, Sly is the most underrated. Okay, back to the point. By taking that fish out of the pond and putting it in an ocean, the fish is pretty much lost in this huge community. And how can this fish blend in? It needs to capture attention. And this brings us to the Sly Cooper movie. By having a very well-known voice actor, then the movie might perhaps capture a lot of attention, new people. If we go back to the fish metaphor, the Sly Cooper series, being a fish has entered a new realm, a new pond. And in order to make new friends with other fish, you have to get noticed, you have to capture attention. Okay, during the podcast, they were talking about sharks and fish, but I kinda decided to change it a bit. But hopefully you guys get the idea. Sly Cooper is a video game series, right? It's entering a new world, and that new world is the big screen. How can this movie bring in new people? In order to do that, so Sony decided to recast the main protagonist. 
the most popular character in the series. When Kevin Miller found out about this, he understood. He knew that they were trying to capture a new audience. I keep reading comments like, how come Kevin Miller is not voicing Sly? Kevin Miller himself kept receiving messages when the trailer dropped. Why aren't you voicing Sly? Why'd you turn down the opportunity? If you take the time to listen to his podcast, I'll leave everything in the description, you'll kinda understand why they decided to recast Sly. Okay, we get it. Cast someone who's very well known. Have that person voice the character we know and love. Okay, look at the Ratchet and Clank movie. The voice actors were pretty much celebrities, and look what happened. Even if the movie had very well known voice actors, it still flopped. So what does this mean for the Sly Cooper movie? Could Rainmaker and Sony decide to finally hire Kevin Miller to voice Sly? I mean, who knows? Why not give the guy the chance? People love him. Why not simply have all of the original voice actors? For Bentley, Murray, and Sly. The Sly Cooper movie is currently in development, not in production. It's in very early stages. So voice acting, voice casting is still not final. Anything can change. I think Rainmaker is taking the time to like come up with brand new strategies. The Ratchet and Clank movie unfortunately failed. So they're trying to come up with ways on how to make the Sly Cooper movie better. If it goes straight to DVD, it is what it is, I won't be upset. At least we'll still be getting the movie. But the Sly Cooper movie has a lot of potential to go on the big screen. If the story is done right, and if marketing is done right, then the movie might do a lot better than Ratchet and Clank. That's all I'm gonna say. So I hope you guys understand why Kevin Miller wasn't cast back then. We're talking about two years ago, things can change. Plus, the trailer is just a concept. It's testing viewers to see what they like, what they dislike. Even Ian James Corlett doesn't even know what's going on. So like I said many times in this video, nothing is final. So if you guys really want Kevin Miller to voice Sly, all I'm gonna say is that there's still hope. Now will Sony and Raymaker risk not casting any celebrity? Maybe or maybe not. If Sony and Raymaker really want to cast a known voice actor, then who would it be? Which character in the series has had a bunch of voice actors? Carmelita Montoya Fox. Her voice actor in Sly 4 is my favorite. If they don't cast Delilah, I'm not gonna get upset. But if they really want to hire a celebrity or a very well-known voice actor, they could go with Carmelita. Look, I'm just saying, aren't we used to it by now? She's had like four voice actors. Okay, now a while back. I found this on the wiki page. Apparently, Carmelita Fox will be voiced by Adina Manzel. Guys, this is probably a joke. Anyone can write anything on a wiki. But if this were true, what would you think? Would Adina Menzel be the right choice for Carmelita? Honestly, I don't care. I just want the movie to do well, that's all. Oh, and for those of you wondering, wasn't Ratchet voiced by the same voice actor? Yes, he was. James Arnold Taylor is known for many roles. He's known for Johnny Test, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars The Clone Wars, Tetris from Final Fantasy. He's done a bunch of stuff, you can look it up. So in the end, it's kinda understandable why they decided to go with the same voice actor. He's pretty well known, so they decided to go with that. So yeah guys, this is pretty much it for the video. To re-summarize everything, the movie is in early stages. Voice casting can change, nothing's final. So Kevin Miller voicing Sly is still a possibility, who knows. So yep, as usual, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I've been Vivi, and thanks for watching.